All right, you guys didn't want to see my intro anyway. You wanted to be blinded by my chessboard and shirt. I, I've never used the orange board before, but it was pretty close to my shirt. Go Ben. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to do any chess anyway. So I figured that's, this is a good time to use it. Go me. So if you can still see, ah. Anyway, uh, I got a text um, about two minutes before I started streaming from the Kardashians, and they told me that I won Twitter today. Yes, go Kardashians. And then I said, who are you guys? So I don't know. Karen explained it to me. Os Oscar H subscribed. Hooray, go drama. Hey, I got a, I got a thing saying that if you gift subs, it's also 25% off, but that's new. It used to be if you subbed, you got a discount in September, but if you gifted subs, they gave you the middle finger. But so, supposedly you can gift subs now and you get 25% off too. Let's, let's, let's see if that works. I love, I love my people, so I'll give you guys some subs. Let's see. One, I can't afford that. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if I get banned and my children's children are banned. Thanks, Miracle Foam. Yay, I gifted subs. The Kardashians may be cheating. I, I, I don't have an opinion on that. Okay, I gifted 10 subs to you guys because you guys are such a good audience. All right, now you guys can tell me how stupid I am and how I suck. Man, I never, I never got so much traction on Twitter before. I mean, my phone just nonstop has, like, th things happening to it. So I have to start ignoring it. I was trying to answer all the things like I hate you and you suck and, and you're a cheater too and you don't know what top level chess is and I was like liking them and responding but it's too many. I can't, you know, I, I don't have enough time to respond to all that. I need a person. Go hype train. Come on, I donated 10 subs. There's still no hype train. Boo, boo. 25% off, it's September. It's my birthday this month. Come on, man. Yeah, this is actually bad timing, though. Uh, I don't... Uh, thanks, Hyperbolic Rose. I don't want Trump to get indicted in the next week or two because I'm getting all this traction from the Magnus Han stuff. I need Magnus to make a statement about once a week. That's, that's good for my channel. Yeah. Well, I mean, if Trump gets indicted, who's going to talk about Magnus and Hans? Okay, maybe. Maybe. Your prime sub was also 25% off. Your free sub? Wow, that's pretty good. What's 25% off of zero? Let me, let me do the math. It's called Twitter math because it doesn't actually work. Yes, I've suspected many people of cheating against me, OTB. Tani wants to play me? Tani, this is Magnus and Hans time. We don't play chess now. Now we talk about Magnus and Hans and get views on Twitter and, and YouTube and, and Twitch. That's what, that's what this is for. Why do you think I'm wearing the Go Ben shirt? 50% off. No, 50% off of zero. Well, so far I'm giving all the subs, so that's good. So the problem with um, the, the, the problem with me giving my opinion on what's going on is whenever I do, then a thousand people are gonna come on the thing and say, hey, what's your opinion on this? I'm like, if you want to know my opinion on stuff, come when the stream starts. Thanks, SR Tortuga. Go Turtles. Hooray. Go, everybody. Yeah, whenever I say anything on the stream, then like an hour later, somebody's like, hey, did you see Magnus gave a statement? And I'm like, what have we been talking about for the next hour? Oh, geez, I got to take the garbage out. That's probably what that noise was. Somebody taking their garbage out. Hmm. It's Monday at 7? Yeah, okay, I'll do it tonight. Who's Magnus, exactly? Go Hype Train! Da, 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 da. You brought the beads? Okay, good, 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 good. I was told there'd be punch and pa. There is no punch and pa. And then everybody leaves. So there has to be beads. Man, people on Twitter, they get all at Twitter when you post stuff. I like that. The hot chick's on vacation, but she still posts about it. Just won a poker tournament, too. Team Magnus. 
My opinion on opinions? Well, there's the obvious asshole joke, but I won't make it. So, so there you go. Hikaru was not excited about my tweet. No, that's all I'm trying to do is get Hikaru excited. Man, they, they got to start checking buttholes. They got to do it. Luckily for me, they just said I had beady eyes, so I was safe. That's right. He has to come way up there, Morty. Episode one, season one. That's right. I'm freaking Morty. <laughs> I am not in the chess boxing tourney. No. Da -da -da -da. Ben is number one toxic player in chess. I don't know if you can call me a player. I'm more of a trash talker. I, I wouldn't call me a player. Man, B Tensor Extensions got this, this short leash today. Dobregab uh, subscribed. I think I missed a sub. Shawang, SC Wang subscribed. I think I might have missed somebody. Let me see. Let me go to my Streamlabs. Uh, recent events. You suck. What? That's a recent event? Tolkis 101 gave 250 bits. Uh, it looks like I didn't miss anybody. I don't think I did. Oh, yeah. Ben Feingold gave 10 subs. Go, Ben Feingold. Did you see the news that hype trains can exceed level five now? What is this? Is this April Fool's? Well, you think I'm going to fall for that? Hmm, I would fall for that. As she Wang gave 20 subs. God damn. Sha Wang. Go SC Wang with the 20 subs. I guess we're going to find out if he was kidding or not. Go SC Wang. Donating subs like they're going out of style. Yeah, give subs are 25% cheaper for the next few days until October or whatever. Whatever. Hey, we're at level six. You weren't kidding. You were serious. Thanks, X Chow Shammer, X without the X's. <laughs> I'm new to Twitter, sorry, or Twitch, whatever this is called. Hey, we're at level six. Does it go to level seven? It's 93%, so we're probably going to find out. All the other streamers are hating on Hans. Why not you? Okay, first of all, I want to set the record straight. I hated Hans before anybody. I was the first person to dislike Hans. Me. Okay, nobody dislike Hans. Well, actually, there's a, a couple of friends of mine don't like him either. Squirrel Brain, 100 cent to do's. Goblins here, 90 cent to do's. Wow, level six. We never had level six before. Thanks, Swing. I was the first person who didn't like Hans Niemann. I'm not defending Hans Niemann. I never said Hans Niemann is innocent. Hans Niemann never cheated. Hans Niemann's the best. I'm just hating on Magnus. Hans Niemann isn't saying anything. Hans Niemann has no tweets in like two weeks. Hans Tweem Hans Tweeman? Hans Tweeman. Hans Niemann hasn't tweeted since my birthday. That was the last time he tweeted. I mean, it must be in my honor. Can something happen that gives us two more percent? I want to see if it goes to level seven. 50 cent to do's. 100%. That's not helping. I need one cent to do. I got to know who to hate. I'm not a Hans fan. Beacon, Beacon 100. All right, let's see if we get to level seven. If such a level exists. Wait, what is this thing now? Hype? Wait, what is it? What's now what's going on? Three cent to do things, Squirrel Brind. Level six complete. There's a level seven? Man, this is better than anal beads. God damn. It's much better. Ah, son of a. Okay, first of all, Let's talk about what we came here to talk about. Okay, this is serious now. Um, so if you show up late, you're going to miss my, my big take on this. Did you guys see today that I got 9.5 out of 10 in my 10 games on chess.com? And I was playing people around my own rating. Right, so now I'm the one being accused. They're analyzing my games, and Hikaru's analyzed three of them so far out of the 10, and I played 0% computer moves. 0% engine moves. I play. I didn't play one engine move. So he's confused. He's like, I've never seen a GM play this bad. He doesn't know what's going on. But that's a true story. Okay, I played 10 games today on stream. I streamed about four hours ago. I played 10 games, and I got 9.5 out of 10, and the players were between 25 and 2,700. 
and uh, I gained like 45 rating points. That, that all happened. And that's the news of today. Thanks for watching my stream. Bye, everybody. Now I'm going to raid. I'll raid Hans Niemann, I guess. Yay, level seven. I've never seen level six or seven. This is great. Tulkus101 gave 250 bits. Thank you. Who else did I miss? Probably missed something. Uh, Farty Party gave two subs. Cookie Munster gave 500 cent to dues. Trying to learn 200 cent to dues. Okay, now, I, but seriously, I mean, I was kidding about that. All that stuff that I said was true. But I know why you're really here. Synthetic Assault subscribed. The reason you're all here is we're going to thank Magnus. I want to thank Magnus for starting all these controversies the last two weeks, which has made my channel here, my Twitter, and my YouTube channel grow immensely. So thanks, Magnus. We appreciate it. Gotham Chess appreciates it. Hikaru appreciates it. We, we love you, Magnus. At least once or twice a week, put out a stupid statement like you did. Yeah. And one of my, uh, Tisker Tasker gifted a sub. Thank you. The funniest thing, Magnus, like, I don't know if you saw all my tweets today. I have like 10 tweets today, which people are hating on. NZ and Hero, 100 cent to do's. So I have all these tweets. And one of the tweets is, says, before the Sinkfield Cup, Magnus did, was worried that Hans Zeman was playing. So he talked to his chess team and he said, what's the worst thing I can do? And they said, well, why don't you play in the tournament and when you lose to him, then withdraw. And then play him in another tournament and play one move and resign. And he said, okay, I'll do that. Right? So they gave him the worst advice possible and he followed it to a T. That's what he did. Now, I don't know if Hans cheated all of his games he's ever played. It's possible. I don't know. I, I got nothing. I'm like you. I don't know. Although some of you think you know, but you don't know. I don't know. Do you know how many grandmasters are willing to say they don't know when they don't know? I don't know. Also, I stole that joke from Sanford and Son. Okay, so I changed grandmasters from doctors. Long story. If you've seen every second of every episode, you'll get the joke. Okay, so thanks, Tisker Tasker. Okay, so what I'm concerned with as somebody who's interested in people not cheating at the top level, I would, I would prefer not to see that, is if somebody who's the world champion plays in a tournament, plays a guy and loses and then withdraws and then later says, I think they were cheating, okay, First of all, it's disingenuous for Magnus to say, look, the guy's a cheater. Look what he did in the past. It's true. He cheated in the past, and he probably cheated more than he said he did. And by probably, it's definitely. Def Hans definitely cheated more than he said he did. That's 100%. Okay? I guarantee it. Hans said, like, he cheated in two games on the Internet in his life. Okay, that's, that's not true. Come on, we need to get to 100% to see if there's a level 8. We got 10 seconds left. We're at 99%. We need 100 cent to do's. I want to see if there's a level 8. Level 8! Thanks, Tolkis. Well, we're going to find out if there's a level 8 or not. Thanks, Will B. I still don't know if there's a level 8 because it's going too slow. Level 7 complete. Yeah, continue. Level eight. Is there infinite levels now? Did Twitch just go insane? There used to be five levels, then you're finished, then you're out, get out. Okay. Magnus didn't withdraw because Hans was cheating. Magnus withdrew because he lost to Hans. And I can prove it using amazing logic. Okay, and not Logitech, my mouse, logic. Okay, and not the rapper, okay? Now, he does play chess, okay? And he was on Rick and Morty, so he gets a lot of props from me. And he's probably watching now. And by probably, I mean he's definitely not watching. Okay, so the logic is, imagine, now you have to imagine, okay, John Lennon, got to imagine. Imagine Magnus beat Hans in the Sinkfield Cup. Okay, did you imagine that yet? Okay. So Magnus wins, round three. 
Do you think Magnus withdraws from the tournament? No. There's a 0% chance, zero, that Magnus wins that game and withdraws from the tournament. He withdrew from the tournament because he lost. He knew about previous cheating. That was always in his mind. That probably made him play worse. Hikaru said he played 43% engine moves. Hikaru then posited that's the worst game he's played in the last two years in that metric. Now, he doesn't know that. He was just guessing. Hikaru guessed that's the worst game Magnus has played in two years. It's not clear that that's the worst game he's played in two years. That's just what Hikaru guessed. Because 43%, usually Magnus is, you know, Magnus wins all his games. You know who Magnus is. Okay, so I think what happened was Magnus thought this guy might be cheating. Okay, and I don't want to play in this tournament, but I've already agreed to play in the tournament. And they invited him at the last minute. Now, some of you don't know this because most of you don't know anything. It's not really your fault. You were born not knowing anything. You were crying. You were going everywhere. You, you know, sleeping a lot, crying, okay, trying to, get, trying to get teeth. That's how you were born, okay? You didn't know nothing. And so what you don't know, about half of you know, Hans was a last-minute replacement. Richard Rapport was supposed to play, but he couldn't get in the country for COVID reasons. I don't know what those reasons are. I don't know. In fact, I could be making all of that up. But Richard Rapport said, I'm not playing. And they needed a replacement, and the organizers got Hans like six days before the tournament. So like all of the sudden, Hans is playing in the Sinkfield Cup, unbeknownst to the other players, and they're getting worried because they heard the rumors about Hans, and everybody has. Everybody heard years ago Hans may have cheated on the internet. Maybe Hans was kicked off chess.com once or twice. Okay, that was public knowledge. Maybe Hans even acknowledged he had cheated in the past. Maybe people were worried he was cheating now because he was doing so well. He's playing in slow tournaments and he's kicking ass. So if you're like, this guy cheated in the past, he acknowledged he did, now he's kicking ass. Hmm. So now the top players are all scared. They're like, is this guy going to cheat in the tournament? But they don't have weeks to decide what to do. They got like five days. Magnus claims, claims he almost didn't play in the Singfield Cup because he didn't want to play in the tournament with, with Hans. Now, let's go back two weeks, if you don't mind. If you mind, I'll, I'll wait. Okay, let's go back two weeks. Hey, first of all, the train's dying. Let's go, people. Okay, two weeks before this, there was a tournament in Miami that was in person on the internet, which means the players were physically there and they were playing on a computer while physically next to each other, well, across from each other. Okay. And this tournament, none other than Hans Niemann played. It was match format, four game matches. And on the four, and the players were all really good. The players are like Magnus and Fisher and Steinitz and Capablanca and Morphy. And those were the weak players. I didn't get to the good players yet. Okay. In this tournament, in the four game matches, Hans lost every single match. And it was like nine matches. And out of nine, he got zero. Now, he didn't get zero in all of his games. Some of the matches he lost two and a half, one and a half. Some of the matches he lost three to one. The point was he lost all nine of his matches. So we're talking about a tournament where Hans obviously isn't cheating or he's doing a really bad job of it. And Magnus is there. Magnus lost the first game to Hans then beat him the rest of the games. They're playing on the beach for a photo op. You guys have seen that photo or video of Hans playing Magnus on the beach. So in Miami, everything's fine. Hans is playing in a Super GM tournament. It's rapid. It's online. It's in person. Hans loses all of his matches, and everybody goes to the seashore, which is funny because they, they went to the seashore. I mean, literally and figuratively, they went to the seashore. Okay? So two weeks before the Sinkfield Cup, everybody's playing with Hans. Everybody's having a good time. DoorDash and Uber Eats are fighting over who gets Hans's, you know, food money. It's a big fight. And nobody's complaining. Nobody's like, yeah, I almost didn't play in Miami because Hans is a cheater. Nobody said nothing. Nobody thought anything. 
And Hans lost all of his matches, and the super GMs all high fived each other. We're super GMs, and you're and you're not. You're 2680, and we're 2780 and 2880. And you played in our tournament, and we took you to school, and we took you out back. And you went home to your Uber Eats, and you cried in your food, and you spent $1,000 a week. That's what they said. I can't believe they said that. I don't know why they would say that. What would they have to gain? Okay. So for some reason, two weeks before the, the Sinkfield Cup, Hans is playing all the super GMs, and nobody says anything, and Hans loses all of his matches. Now, all of a sudden, in the interim, in the 10 days between the Miami tournament and the Sinkfield Cup, Nepo wants extra security if Hans plays, and Magnus is thinking of not playing. Now, what happened, something must have happened between Miami and the Sinkfield Cup. Because in Miami, nobody said shit. They just beat Hans like a drum, and then, then they went on their merry way. And now all of a sudden, they're all worried Hans is going to cheat in the Singfield Cup, but he won't cheat in a rapid tournament. Why would you cheat in the Singfield Cup and not the rapid tournament? Okay, now, I'll give you my actual opinion. My actual opinion is, you know, Hans has cheated. He's cheated online. If I had to bet money, I don't have to bet money. In fact, Karen wouldn't let me. Okay, if I had to bet money, Karen would take that money, and I wouldn't have any money, which is sort of the way it is now. Okay, but I'm not on trial here. If I had to bet money, and you said in the last three years has Hans cheated over the board, and I had to physically bet a 50-50 bet, I would bet yes. That's what I would bet. I would think there's at least one game in the 150, 200 games he's played the last three years where maybe he did something unethical. Okay, at least one. If he didn't, that wouldn't surprise me either. If he did, that wouldn't surprise me either. Okay, I don't know. But I don't care. I literally don't care. You know what I care about? Did Hans cheat against Magnus in round three of the Sinkfield Cup? And if the answer is no, then I don't care about, well, Hans cheated three years ago, and Hans played 100% in his game in the, in the Charlotte, you know, St. Louis round rob. I don't care. Okay, because all that stuff happened before and Magnus played with Hans in Miami and Magnus played with Hans in the Singfield Cup. The shit hit the fan when Magnus lost to Hans. Not before. There was no complaining from Magnus before he lost to Hans. And I don't know what happened between him playing in Miami and beating Hans 3-1 to one and playing with him on the beach and then being afraid to play him 10 days later. What happened 10 days later? Okay, and here's the part I'll never understand. And I've had people explain it to me, but I don't listen too good. Here's, here's my complaint. Magnus has handled the whole thing horribly. Okay, I don't know if Magnus cheated. Maybe Magnus, everything he said is right. Maybe Hans cheats all the time. Maybe Magnus is a genius. Maybe Magnus knows that Hans cheated. Okay, I don't know. I'm like you guys. I don't know. What I do know is, played Hans, he lost, and he left the tournament. That I don't understand. He's got six rounds left against Super GMs, and we all want to watch it. I want to see Magnus play the other Super GMs. He's already played Hans. That game's over. Why is he withdrawing from the tournament? Why? Now, if he was 100% sure Hans was cheating, the round before he played Hans... Okay, let's say it's round two. Hans beat Mama Jarv in round two. I think Magnus drew. Magnus won his first game against Nepo, then he drew the second game. I forgot who he drew in the second game. And now it's round three, and Magnus is like, yeah, I think Hans is going to cheat tomorrow against me. I withdraw from the tournament. Okay, that I understand. I don't want to play a guy who I think is a cheater. He could refuse to show up to the game and then play the rest of the tournament, or he could withdraw. Playing the game, losing the game, then saying the guy cheated, then leaving the tournament is just, that's not, that. He, he wanted to lose to Hans to prove that he was cheating. That's the proof that he got. Oh, Hans wasn't tense enough during the game. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It's, Gor it's Gorgon, Gorgon shit? I can't remember the Rick and Morty now. 
Now, I'm not saying Hans cheated, and I'm not saying he didn't cheat. I don't think Magnus has done things right this whole time. He shouldn't have played in that tournament with, with Hans and then played one move and resigned. Just don't play in the tournament. Or play Hans. Not play and play one move and resign is like a protest. And he's going to do it again. If they play in the same tournament again, it would make sense that, that Magnus doesn't play in that tournament. Now, forget all that stuff I just said. I don't care about any of that stuff. That's just my opinion on stuff. What's bad for Hans is if Hans did not cheat against Magnus in the Sinkfield Cup, which seems unlikely that in that one game he cheated. But Okay. If he didn't cheat and Magnus loses to him and then says he cheated that game and he didn't cheat and people aren't going to invite Hans to tournaments, not because of what he did in the past, which is a reason, but because Magnus said he cheated against me when there's no evidence of that. The evidence... The internet evidence, it's an oxymoron for you. The internet evidence is Hans cheated last year and Hans cheated two years ago and Hans cheated four years ago and Hans cheated three months ago. If, if, if that evidence exists and if Magnus believes that evidence, why did he play in Miami with Hans? And then why did he play in St. In St. Louis with Hans? And how come in Miami he wasn't mad? And how come in St. Louis he was mad? What happened? What happened in those 10 days where all of a sudden Hans is persona non grata? If I think a guy is cheating and I refuse to play the guy, I'm going to refuse to play the guy. That's what I'm going to do. There's two or three people in the United States that I will not play. Okay? Because I think they're cheaters. And I haven't been paired with them. And I don't play chess anymore, so it doesn't matter. Okay? But if I did get paired with them in like some big tournament, I wouldn't play them. I would tell the organizer, I'm not playing this game because I think this guy's a cheater. And they would look at me like I'm insane. If I said somebody was a cheater and I gave their name, you guys would be like, you can't do that. What are you doing? You can't just say some guy's a cheater. You're nuts. And then when Magnus does it, half of you have that opinion. And half of you are like, well, he's Magnus. He, he knows if the guy cheated or not. And he's playing a guy who admitted to cheating before. So Magnus is innocent. He can do whatever he wants. I don't like the way Magnus handled it. And I'm not I, team Hans because I don't know if Hans cheated or not. I'm just team Magnus should have handled this differently. And, you know, if I'm, if, if I'm organizing a tournament, like imagine I was worth a billion dollars. And Karen, for reasons I don't know, says, hey, Ben, let's organize Grandmaster tournaments. Okay, if that happened, if we have a billion dollars and Karen says, let's organize a super grandmaster tournament, we are inviting Hans and we're not inviting Magnus. Now, first of all, I wouldn't invite Hans because Hans isn't good enough, but that's, that's a separate issue. But I'm not going to be like, well, we can invite Magnus or Hans. Who are we going to invite? Karen would say Hans for sure. I'm not going to cancel a guy because another guy had a crying fit. Now, I wouldn't invite Hans because Hans is like 2680. That's, you know, that's beneath me. You know, I, I'm not doing that. Right. I'll, I'll invite, you know, like Jeffrey Sean. He's like 2690. Right? Yeah, I'd, I'd invite Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's good. And then I would do chess boxing with Jeffrey. Anyway, you guys take yourself too seriously on the internet. None of this matters. Right? It's all just silliness. And we make money off of it because you guys love it. You guys love the drama. There's not, I mean, what's, what's Hans said? Hans said nothing. Hans gave the 30-minute interview saying he would play naked at St. Louis Chess Club, and that was it. His Twitter's been dead since then. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't have to do anything. He plays chess. He wins. He loses. He draws. And then Magnus says, rawr, I'm mad. I'm not playing Hans anymore. Baby. No, I mean, Magnus is being a baby. And that's, that's, that's my spiel. Anyway, let's get to level eight again. That was awesome, level eight. Anyway, I didn't read any of the chat because I was waxing idiotic. So I don't know what you guys said. But hopefully you all agree with me. Because if you disagree with me and say so in the chat, I can't be responsible for what tensor extension and trying to learn in kangaroo are going to do to you. I can't be responsible for that. Thanks, more 83. Level nine. By the way, if it's like 
you know, on my on my life, on my children's lives. Do you think in the last three years Hans has cheated in slow rated tournaments? Yeah. I mean, my, my children might die, but that's the way I'm going to go. Do I think he cheated against Magnus in game three of the Sainfield Cup? No, I don't. Do I think Magnus cheat? Do I think Hans cheated in the Singfield Cup? No. There's only one way for sure Magnus is 100% Hans cheated. And that's if Magnus is cheating. And I actually know instances of this, which I can't talk about ever, <laughs> where person A knew person B was cheating because person A was cheating. And so person B must have been cheating because person B beat person A and person A was cheating. This isn't chess, by the way. This is something else. Another game. The only way Hans, Magnus is 100% sure Hans cheated against him is if Magnus was cheating. And then Magnus would be like, well, I was cheating and he beat me, so he was cheating more. Now, Magnus was not cheating against Hans. Magnus, in my opinion, has never cheated. That's my opinion. Some people disagree and they give a really stupid example because people are stupid. They said he was playing Naroditsky on the internet and people suggested moves in the chat and then Magnus played them. And you call that cheating? Jesus Christ. That's like the opposite of cheating. That's like trying to lose when you should win. But anyway, Magnus has never cheated as far as I know. And Magnus didn't play very well that game according to Karu's engine analysis that Magnus just played badly that game. Now, if you told me Hans never cheated in his life in slow chess, and that was the truth, that's the truth. If you told me Hans cheated every game he's played in slow chess, and that was the truth, then that's the truth too. I don't know. Either one's possible. Likely somewhere in the middle. But I don't think, I personally don't think he cheated in the Sinkfield Cup. I don't think he did. And he definitely didn't cheat in Miami. God damn, his ass kicked in Miami. But it's weird that in Miami, when they played like a thousand games, because they played four game matches, and there were nine rounds. So they played 36 games each if the matches went to game four. And if there's playoffs, they went further. Nobody said anything about Hans. Hans was innocent. Hans lost every match. Hans is on the beach. Hans is ordering Uber Eats and DoorDash. And nobody says anything. Then all of a sudden, the Singfield Cup, you know, by the way, I'd like to point out, for those of you who said, what about what Caruana said? I don't know what Caruana said. And what about what Nepo said? And what about what this guy? All I know is when Magnus withdrew from the tournament, and it was relatively obvious why, nobody else refused to play Hans. They all played Hans, and they played Hans. And some of the games were draws, and some of the games Hans lost. You didn't, you didn't see Caruana being like, nah, man, I ain't... I ain't playing Hans. I saw what Hans did to Carlson and, and Mama Jarov. I don't believe it. Nobody did anything. They just played Hans. Like nothing happened. So it's unfortunate the way Carlson handled it, but it's good for like Hikaru, me, and, and Gotham Chess. So th thank you, Magnus. I, I, I approve of, Mag of what Magnus did. Also, Uber Eats and DoorDash approves. I forgot what he said if it was Uber Eats or DoorDash. Do you guys remember? But Hans wasn't very tense. That's right. Anyway, Magnus dealt with the situation very badly. And if Hans did not cheat in the Sinkfield Cup, I don't know if he did. I don't think he did. But if Hans didn't cheat in the Sinkfield Cup, is it reasonable for Magnus to withdraw and say he's cheated before, after he loses to him? I mean... Magnus has to really believe in his own mind that Hans cheated the Singfield Cup. Otherwise, he wouldn't have played him. You can't be like, I think Hans is a cheater, but I'm going to play him first and find out. Then he plays Hans and beats him. Is he, is he going to withdraw from the tournament? No. If he draws Hans, is he going to withdraw from the tournament? Probably not. Pro I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Only by losing to Hans, and then he feels in his own mind, okay, this guy's a cheater. He cheated before. He just cheated against me. I'm withdrawing. Rawr, I'm Donkey Kong. I wonder if he said I'm Donkey Kong. 
I mean, some people cheat. You try not to play them. You try to avoid them. You try to get them caught if you can. You can't just accuse people of cheating because you think they cheated, although I do, but that's a different, I'm, I'm different. I mean, I'm me, right? You don't care what I say. What Magnus says is serious. Now, in the previous season of Family Guy, season 20, I believe, it might be season 19, there's an episode where Peter becomes uh, an advisor to Donald Trump. And at some point in the episode, they have, they have like a, a fight, like a chicken fight. But before they fight, Peter, you know, tells Trump like, you know, you're the worst and so forth. And Trump says, what do you mean? You're the worst. And he explains to Peter why he's the worst. He says, all that stuff you're accusing me of, you do that stuff all the time. And Peter says, okay, you're right, but I'm a cartoon, right? You're the president of the United States. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, and that's, that's like what's going on here. If you're like, Ben Feingold does this, and Ben Feingold does that, nobody cares what I do, Okay. When Magnus Carlsen withdraws from a tournament, plays one move and resigns, makes a statement and says, this guy cheated in the past, he's cheated more, I can't say much. People listen to that shit. That's some serious shit. If I say people cheated, people are just like, ah, Ben's an idiot. Ben's going to say he didn't cheat tomorrow. Ben doesn't care. But when Magnus says something, that's serious. When Magnus behaves in a certain way, that's serious. If I play in the World Open and I think my round four opponent cheated and I withdraw from the tournament, nobody cares. Nobody cares if they cheated. Nobody cares if they didn't cheat. Nobody cares if I withdraw. Nobody knows I withdrew. Nobody knows who I am. Nobody cares. And if I go on my stream and say, hey, my round four opponent cheated and that's why I withdrew, you guys are like, who cares? You know, like, you know, who's Magnus playing tomorrow? You don't care. Now, when Magnus is the world chess champion and he starts talking shit, like, I think this guy I played is a cheater, cheated before. It's on CNN. It's on Al Jazeera. It's on BBC. Everybody know it's, it's on late night talk shows and people are talking about it. So he's got, he got to watch it. He can't be saying shit. He's got to say some true shit. He can't be making shit up. And obviously... If he thinks Hans might be cheating before he plays him, he's not going to play well. And that's exactly what happened. Thanks for the raid, Janistan TV. Wow, that's a big raid. Let's give some shouts out. Okay, if I'm Magnus and I think my opponent may or may not be cheating, like, hmm, maybe they're cheating. I'm not going to play my best. I can't. I'm thinking about them cheating. And then if I lose, then I'm like, hey... By the way, in the last round of the World Open, I played a guy who was like 2,200, and he was black, and he beat me worse than anybody's ever beaten me ever. I've never been beaten so badly. And it never occurred to me at any point that he was cheating. I just got my ass kicked. Like, he played better than me, and I played badly. I didn't lose any other games in the tournament, and I played pretty well for me. For me, okay? In the last game, I got beat like I couldn't play at all. But I didn't think my opponent cheated. I have played people and I have thought they cheated because it's a different feeling. Magnus had this feeling and the problem that Magnus has, which he can't escape, is he had the feeling before the game. If you feel before the game, your next opponent might be a cheater, that's not good. Then if you lose or any little thing happens, you're, you associate that with the cheating feelings that you had. The people that I thought were cheating that I've played in the last, you know, 10 years, I didn't think they were cheating before the game. It occurred to me during the game and after the game, maybe they cheated. Also, I don't know if I'm right. I, did, I, I never accused them because that's crazy. I don't know if people cheated. Now, people do cheat, and it is a problem. It needs to be addressed. But ruining Hans's career over a game he didn't cheat in because he cheated in the past, that's not, that's not a good way of doing it. So he, owe, he owes Hans an apology. He does. He needs to apologize for, to Hans for accusing him of cheating in the Sinkfield Cup because that's, that's not right. And Hans should probably apologize again for the, you know, the decades of cheating that he did before. You know, between the ages of 10 and 17, there was some cheating going on there. 
And Hans should probably address that. Like, instead of saying, I cheated twice in my life, which is obvious nonsense, he should be like, okay, when I was a kid, I cheated a few times, and that was wrong, and now I'm an adult. I don't cheat anymore, and I haven't cheated in years. If it's true or not. Thanks, Nicola. They, they both need to address this because if Hans gives the nonsense like, I cheated once when I was 13 in one game, and I cheated once when I was 16 in one game, nobody's going to believe that. I mean, I'm, I don't believe it. Okay. Now, obviously, this may not matter to you. It might not. It matters to me. It might not matter to you. You might think it's the same. I don't. I think cheating in real life tournaments is much worse than cheating online. You might think cheating is cheating. If the guy's cheating online or if he's cheating in a real tournament, that's the same. I don't look at that the same. And if Magnus refuses to play anybody who cheated, who's 2,600 feet or over on the internet, you ain't going to be playing too many people, bud. A very high percentage of people, 26, 2,700, 2,800, have cheated on the internet at least once in their life. When I say very high, I mean like between 10 and 25%. Much higher than you would expect. You would expect it's like 1% or 0%. It's not. Grandmasters get caught cheating all the time. IMs get caught cheating all the time. You can't just refuse to play people because they cheated on Lee Chess five years ago. That's, you know. And he didn't, he didn't, he's not calling Hans a cheater for the cheating he did previously. He just said that. He said, Hans is a cheater. He cheated previously. He said that, but that's not relevant. He played against him in Miami, and he played against him in St. Louis. The reason he's upset and doesn't want to play Hans is because Hans beat him in St. Louis. If he beat Hans in St. Louis, none of this would happen. If, if Magnus had won that game in St. Louis, there would be no chess controversy, and, Hans, and Magnus would have beat him again in the next tournament. And that would have been that. And that's it. That's that. But because Magnus lost, this started a domino effect of he cheated before. He probably cheated in the sink field cup. I'm never playing him again. He's a cheater. That's, you know, I, the, the 2,700 players that have been asked don't think Hans cheated in the sink field cup. If Hans didn't cheat in the sink field cup, why did you can't say Hans cheated before. Magnus knew that. Magnus isn't mad because Hans cheated when he was 16. He's mad because Hans cheated against him in the Sinkfield Cup. That's why he's mad. And nobody agrees with Magnus that Hans cheated in the Sinkfield Cup. Although, I mean, Nakamura could change his mind any minute. If you ask Nakamura now, did Hans cheat against Magnus in the Sinkfield Cup? I don't know what, 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 what Nakamura would say. But I know the other super GM said they didn't see any reason. Ken Regan, who I don't have a lot of faith in, I don't, said they saw nothing. I have faith in what chess.com says about their online stuff. If chess.com says player A's been cheating for years, I believe them. That's, that's, I believe it. But as far as I know, chess.com hasn't said that, that Hans cheated in the one game in the Singfield Cup. Not that you can tell from one game. So... If Hans didn't cheat in the Singfield Cup, I'm not Team Hans. I'm never Team Hans. I'm not, but I'm not Team Magnus. I'm not Team anybody. Okay, in this instance, Hans could be getting railroaded for cheating he's done in the past. And by the way, you could argue that that's fair. You could. You could say Hans cheated when he was 13. Hans cheated when he was 16. Maybe Hans cheated in some of those norm tournaments. So he's banned and his children's children. Okay, that could be your feeling about it. But if, if you think he should be banned or he should get in trouble or he was cheating against Magnus in the Singfield Cup, I don't agree with that. I don't think that Hans was cheating in the Singfield Cup. And I think if he was, Magnus would have said something before he played him. The Arbiters would have said something at some point. So far they said there's no cheating. And Ken Regan would have said something. Chess.com might have said something. Lee Chess could say something. Lee Chess could say, our guys looked at all the games for the Singfield Cup. Eh, pretty suspicious. Nobody said that except Magnus. And these guys who I've never heard of, 
who do these statistical analyses, which are refuted later, all of them, who say, yeah, Hans cheated in 2020 in round six, and then the next tournament in round seven, he cheated. What does it have to do with him playing Magnus in the Singfield Cup? Why did Magnus play him in the Singfield Cup? Why did Magnus play him in Miami? Now, again, if I had to do a preponderance of evidence in what I believe myself, okay, I'm not Team Hans, but I don't like I don't like the way Magnus is behaving. Magnus has a higher standard of behavior for me than Hans. I've known Hans his whole life. He's never behaved well. I'm not a Hans fan. I know Hans personally. I don't like it. Okay, I'm not. A, I don't like Hans. Not a Hans person. Okay, but Magnus. Magnus is the world champion. Highest rated player of all time. He plays everybody. He wins. He loses. He travels all over the world. He plays Blitz for fun. He plays one minute all night on lead chess sometimes. Plays in title Tuesday. And when he says something, it's serious. Magnus likes to be silly, but not about something serious like this. When Magnus says, you know, player A cheated. I'm never going to play him. And we got to get rid of these cheaters. That's the serious accusations. And if, if Magnus said Hans has cheated in the past, I agree. If he said Hans has cheated more than he said he has, I agree. But if he says Hans cheated against me in the Sinkfield Cup, and that's why I withdrew, I draw the line there. I don't think he cheated in the Sinkfield Cup. I don't think there's any evidence of that. And if there was evidence and people believed it, they wouldn't have played him. Aronian, Caruana, etc. Not Aronian, he played Aronian in round one. Caruana, who else beat him? Who beat Hans afterwards? I know Caruana beat him. Oh, Wesley. Wesley so beat him. Wesley and Fabi aren't going to play Hans if they think Hans is cheating. So they didn't think Hans was cheating. That's why they played him. The end. And that's all I got to say until I talk for another hour about nothing. Etc. Anyway, I have spoken. I don't understand why Magnus withdrew. Right. If Hans cheated, if it's 100% in his mind Hans cheated, which I guess it is, then why not play the other six guys? They're not going to cheat. He already played the guy that he thinks is cheating. So what's, what's, why withdraw? I don't get it. I, I mean, if he doesn't want to play a cheater, I understand that. If you're paired with a guy and you're like, that guy's a cheater, I'm not playing him. I perfectly understand that. But if I've already played the cheater in a round robin and I got six more non-cheaters to play, why would I withdraw? Ridiculous. And Magnus would have won the tournament if he didn't withdraw. Magnus playing great. Magnus played great in the last, you know, in the whatever that was, the online thing. God damn, he played well. Etc. No, I mean, he ruined the tournament. Now everybody thinks Hans may be cheating. They're like, what's Magnus doing? There's a buy every round. The, you're trying to do commentary, and all you can think about is, I can't believe Magnus withdrew. Then you got Peter and Tanya doing commentary on the online tournament, and he with, resigns on move one. And, and you, you expect them to do commentary? You expect people to pay attention to the tournament at that point? To the other games? No, I mean, he's a baby. It's, 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 it's the work of a baby. But people on the internet saying, like, I'm Team Hans because Hans is American. I'm friends with Hans. God damn. If you've seen some of the texts between me and my friends and former students regarding Hans, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that shit. God damn. I think everybody that I know that's known Hans his whole life, they just assume, well, he must be cheating and Magnus must be right. Because they're just looking at the, they're not looking at the games or thinking about whether it makes sense that he cheated. They're just like, I don't like Hans and I like Magnus. And that's what most people are doing. They're like, I like Magnus, I don't like Hans, so Magnus is right. Now, that might keep you in good stead. That might, that might, I mean, in other situations. You know, like, let's say you like Obama and you don't like Trump, okay? And let's say Obama and Trump disagree on something, probably you're going to side with the guy you like, right? 
And if you're a white supremacist, Nazi bastard, piece of shit Republican, and you like Trump, then probably if Trump and somebody reasonable disagree, you're going to agree with Trump, right? Because that's who you are. You're a piece of shit. So in this instance, by me knowing Hans and me knowing Magnus, okay, and me and Magnus are like that, son. I don't think Magnus likes me, but Magnus and I have looked at chess before. He knows who I am, okay? And he beat me once, and we've talked before. Um, I like Magnus a lot more than Hans just as a general, like, liking somebody. Like, a lot more. But in this instance, what Magnus did was wrong. And I don't know if Hans did anything wrong. I know Hans did stuff wrong in the past. I know that. Did Hans cheat at the Singfield Cup? I don't think so. Did Hans cheat in Miami? I don't think so. Did Hans cheat in this last tournament after the Sinkfield Cup where Magnus refused to play him? I don't think so. So and I got nothing. Etc. Anyway, the point of this whole thing was Trump is terrible and he will be indicted soon. And hopefully he and his whole family will go to jail. That was the whole point of this lecture. Yeah, this is what's worrisome, you know. Now is the best time to cheat against Magnus. Okay, let's say Magnus plays in a tournament and gets his ass kicked and the guy plays like an engine, okay? And let's say the guy is cheating, right? Is Magnus going to say, that guy's cheating, Magnus will be like, whoa, I better stop saying shit. I can't just be accusing my opponents of cheating. So now is the best time to cheat against Magnus because he, he can't say the guy's cheating. Then, then he'll lose all of his followers. Right now they're like, all right, Hans probably cheated. Okay, we'll give you that. <clears throat> but if he starts accusing other people of cheating, you'd be like, whoa, Magnus, you turned into a crazy old man here. So now if you are going to cheat and you play Magnus, this is the time to do it. Get him while the iron's hot. God damn, this is the best time to cheat against Magnus. Good idea. Oh, my Dropbox is full. Stop sending me messages, Magnus. Everybody's getting timed out. Anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot this stream. I know I did. Man, it's fun just talking shit on Twitter. Everybody goes crazy. Why do you guys care so much? Don't you got anything going on in your life? All you care about is Hans and Magnus. That's it. That's it. That's you got nothing else. Nothing. I mean, it's a sunny day outside. Go outside and have a walk. I went to the gym today. I got a car wash today. I fed my dogs. I played with my dogs. I let them outside occasionally. I filled up their water. Come on, do stuff like that. I watched um, the Rick and Morty, the new one from last night. I watched the new Family Guy from last night. That was also on Hulu. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's that stuff's interesting. This stuff is just silly. Drama is our life because our life is just a pity. But it's a pithy. I try not to feed my dogs. They're pretty big. And I got nine and a half out of ten, and nobody's talking about that. I can't believe as an, as an addendum, Magnus didn't write, congrats to Ben Feingold. He had a great day on chess.com today. Would that have been so hard? It would have taken like five, 10 seconds out of his life. It would have made me feel better. It wouldn't have hurt him at all. What, why can't I get some credit? God damn. Well, sometimes the dogs will knock into the cameras or the lights and then the whole thing is destroyed. There's actually a lot going on here you don't see. That's why I'm so pretty. Three out of six. Yeah, Hans, I mean, Hans could have said something too. Like, you know, you did well on the, you know, did well on chess.com today. Hans isn't a fan of chess.com right now. Now let's see all the stuff I've missed, all the notifications. If I'm banned or my children's children. A lot of notifications. Nah, they're just silly. I do have a lot of new followers. All right, cool. I hope you guys learned a lot. Now, can someone donate 31 subs so we can get to 1,500? 
I thank you in advance. 1469 is a weird number. I mean, just personally, Hans was very off-putting when he was a kid. And Karen wants me to give him a break because he's an adult now. He, he wasn't a nice kid. Nothing that I would think he would be cheating, just not a nice kid like in general. I, I don't mean like he would cheat. I would never think of him as somebody who would cheat. Not when he was like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, when I knew him. I wouldn't think, oh, that guy's a cheater, and that kid isn't. I mean, all the kids are cheaters. So I hate all kids now. That's different. When I see a kid at a chess camp, I figure they're cheating online. That's, that's the go-to. If they're not cheating, I'm like, what, what the kids, they're not getting raised right by their parents? What are they doing? Terrible. What makes a kid a bad kid? Most kids are bad kids. Just being a kid. Where's my 31 subs? Come on, I'm getting hungry here. Grinders, hoagies, come on. You are L? Thanks for the sub. The hot chick's coming back on Friday. There she is. It's Karen, the hot chick. Just won a poker tournament. God damn. Karen's won two poker tournaments. Who's bad kid? Young Hans or 31 old Magnus? Magnus hasn't really done anything that I found fault with until this episode. Before that, he's been pristine. I already said what I was doing. Aren't you listening to the stream? Terrible. The Oompa Loompas. I was a nice kid, me? I have a funny story about when I was a kid. When I was in elementary school, they would give you what they called citizenship grades. And they, they were numbers. So you get like A, B, C, D, E is your grade. Like A is good, he's not good. And then you get a number, one, two, three. One is you're really well behaved, and three is you're not well behaved. So I got ones and twos, and in one of my classes, I got a three. And I told my mom, I said, well, I don't know why I got a three. Ridiculous. I should get a one. I'm the greatest, right? <clears throat> so she, so at parent-teacher conference, she asked my teacher, why did my son get a three? Now, you have to remember, I was like seven years old here. But it's hard to forget this. And she said, because I couldn't give him a five. Man, the truth hurts. God damn. Uh, and so forth. Uh, man, it was hard to argue at that point that I should get a one. Yeah, the truth hurts. Yay, skinny puppy po yog? Skinny puppy og. Hooray, thanks for gifting a sub. Yeah, if you sub or gift a sub the next few days in September, you get, you get a discount. They make gifting subs a lot cheaper now. That's why I get to some subs. I don't do stand-up because I can't stand up, but I do, I do sit-down comedy. I sit down. But I, I don't stand up. None of that. If I'm doing comedy, I get a chair. No stand-up. Standing up is for suckers. Anyway, what do you guys think in the chat? Are you guys like Magnus is crazy? Or I agree with everything Magnus said. Also, do you think um, Hans cheated? Let's do a poll. Do you, the very specific poll. Okay. Do you think Hans cheated in the Sinkfield Cup? in his game with Magnus. Just that one game. Somebody put a poll up. In round three of the Singfield Cup, 
Magnus White against Hans, do you think Hans cheated? Just in that one game. Not, not like, you know, the rest of his life. In that one game, let somebody put a poll up. Do it. Who are my poll people? Where's Duda? Where, where's, where's Votacek? Come on, let's get the polls in here. I wonder if Magnus will vote in the poll. Huh. Yah734, thanks for the sub. Ann Arbor area code. All right, somebody did a poll. Even I voted. We're 50-50 right now. More people think he cheated than not so far. It's close, though. Due to votes in the poll and Votacic. It would make his reset on the second move. What does that say? <laughs> Wait, there's no evidence. Vote in that poll. The did not cheating is winning. There's going to be no boxing. Boxing is a barbaric sport. The did not cheat is crushing the cheated. <laughs> Hans bot spamming the poll. <laughs> Hans is cheating in the poll. We still need like 27 subs. If you give subs, you get 25% off. This is your best chance to do it. I'm surprised more people think he didn't cheat. Magnus has a lot of pull in, in the chess world. Mag Magnus would vote that he cheated. Thanks, Og. The mysteries of life. I think you can vote with channel points, but I don't know how that works. John Galt, Galt's SK. Go John Galt. And also SK the Great. You got everybody in there. The mysteries of life. More people voted than are watching the stream. Stop the count. <laughs> Go Janiston TV. Give them one of shout out. For King Rich subscribed. Good, good. Hey Karen, I don't know if you were here before, but they've changed the they've changed the um what's it called? The the scam train. The hype train goes higher levels now. We got to level eight. It just keeps going. I don't know if it ever stops. Maybe it stops at nine or 10. I don't know, but it, it kept going. So we, we did well. We got to level eight. We need another scam train. Let's get to level eight again. Go voting. Kitty Tiger thinks Hans will say something tonight. Does that mean he already said something?
Nobody's saying anything on Twitter because they're all on my stream. People just love voting. How much money to make off the drama? Plenty, but not enough. Hans wins again. Magnus lost on purpose for content? Maybe. Did not cheat wins, 56%. That proves he didn't cheat. The people have spoken. The dead are risen and they are voting Republican. How do you feel being at the top of Chess Reddit? What's Chess Reddit? <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> That's a good answer. I voted 900 times. <laughs> 1,000 people voted 10,000 times. That's right. That's how my stream works. <laughs> well, we all had fun here today. Even if we didn't get to 1,500 subs, we tried. We're only 7,000 less than Akaru. Yeah, the U.S. Championship starts um, in about 10 days, and Hans is playing. And for reasons I don't understand, Magnus is not. Wait, actually, I think I do know those reasons. That's right, Magnus is... By the way, every year, every year at the U.S. Championship, dozens of people ask me why Magnus isn't playing. I'm like, it's the U.S. championship, the U.S. And also, dozens more people say, why doesn't he transfer to the U.S., win the U.S. championship, then transfer back? He'd win the tournament. Well, what's wrong with everybody? Oh, you're the guys who voted, so I don't know. I can't detect anybody cheating against me. I lose every game. I played 10 games today. Thanks for asking. I got nine and a half points. We need 27 subs. Who's going to step up? It's 25% off. It's like giving one sub. It's, it's pretty cheap. The, the, the thing that Hikaru did on his stream where it told you what percent of engine moves they played, uh, Levon played a lot better than Hans. Levon played 73 and Hans played like in the 40s or 50s. I think the 50s. The people have spoken, 56%, all 10,000 of them. 25% off, 27 is one. That's correct. Do the math, moo ha 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 ha. The crowd has spoken. Monorail, monorail, monorail. There's dozens of us, dozens. Yeah, Hikaru's not playing in the U.S. Championship. I think everybody else is. All the other big names are playing. I think he's the only one who declined. Did you like the Knight family, Rick and Morty? I did. I saw it today. I'm going to buy snacks now. You always say that, farty party. You're always buying snacks. Yeah, why is Ding not playing? Terrible. Ding has played in the Sinkfield Cup. You also declined to play. No. Only if you spell Fisher correctly will he lose his marbles like Fisher. No, I don't think Magnus is losing his mind. I just think that he didn't handle this the right way. Why is Akaru not playing? I assume he declined his invitation. That's, I, I assume. Oh, 
How should this situation be resolved? Everybody needs to apologize, mainly to me. So you hear me, Magnus? I know I know you and Hans are watching the stream. You guys both got to apologize to me. I'm waiting. I do not think Hans cheated in the Singfield Cup. That is correct. All right. A couple people said they were sorry. That's probably Hans and Magnus on secret accounts. Probably. I just saw your tweet. I spent like 20 tweets today. Which one are you talking about? Yeah, nobody talked about my 9.5 out of 10 today. Come on. I play people around my own rating and I crush them. Although my account was banned for cheating, but still, I crush them. That's the important thing. I'm not even good enough for the U.S. senior. Man, the chest, the truth hurts. Okay, I'm going to raid chess bra because they raided me yesterday. So that seems fair. We got to give them a return. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow night for my normal stream. There won't be any controversy. It'll just be me having tournaments. Bye. Thanks for watching.